Hi everyone, this is Bev here at Clark Vision, and I know you're basically seeing a picture of the carpet at the moment. I'm doing I'm doing this video and um, basically trying to do it very quickly. Um this is gonna be a quick showing of all the the CDs I picked up at the uh, car boot sale about two to three weeks ago. And I got a whole shopping bag's worth for a tenner. And I also picked up three records as well, which I'll just briefly show. Um, um, <coughs> so as I say, there's a whole mix of stuff from various different genres of music. There is basically hardly any rock and metal, to be honest with you. Um, but there is a couple, basically. But I'm going to show everything, and if anybody's interested in anything from this lot that I picked up, just put a comment below if you want it. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably get it sent off to you at some point. Um, failing that, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, to be honest with you. There's a handful I've picked out for myself. And <coughs> um, the other thing to say about them is, unfortunately, a lot of them are in pretty poor condition. Um, there seems to be a lot of surface scratches on some of them. Um, there is a few that are decent. Um, I don't know how it'll. <coughs> I don't know how they would play. Obviously, CDs, as we know, were kind of built initially to withstand a lot more um, rough treatment than the vinyl, obviously. But needless to say, a CD will eventually not play as well if it's so damaged. Um, so it really all depends on whether they play or not. But um, I'm not wanting any money for them. Um, because I don't really think they're good enough to sell, to be honest with you, given the odd one or two. So I'm just going to rattle through them. As I say, if there's anything of interest at all that you see, uh, give me a shout. <coughs> um, and we'll just get on with it now, because I've already rambled for two minutes. So the first uh, vinyl I picked up... Um, now... <coughs> It's a 12-inch single, and it's Debbie Harry, I Want That Man, which was a big uh, hit in 19... Was it 1989 or 90 or something like that? I think it was 1989. It was late 80s, this song. <coughs> and, um... So you've got I Want That Man, and you've got the 12-inch remix, the 7-inch version, and an instrumental, and you've also got a song called Biker Boy. Now, I've played this. It plays fine, but there is a little bit of... <coughs> a little bit of noise on it, but obviously, when the song's playing, um, it, it doesn't notice much, so... Um, and yes, it's 1989 Chrysalis. I'm not going to pull it out, because um, I'm doing this a wee bit differently, so that was vinyl number one. Um, <clears throat> this one's a full album, and it's uh, Alison Moy's album, Rain Dancing, which had, or has, Is This Love and Week in the Presence of Beauty, two super hits for her back in the day as well. Now, this album um, is in really amazing condition. The cover is absolutely excellent. There's a, a couple of little creases, um... The spine is pretty decent all round, really. Um, but the record itself is, it looks like it's near mint. I've played it through as well, and there's no sound, no noise, no nothing. It plays beautifully. So that's Alison Moy. Sorry, the track listing. I want to see that. <coughs> there it is. If it's going to focus one second. There we go. And the last LP I picked up was uh, Richard Marks, and that's his um, self-titled debut album, basically. Um, again, it's in very good condition. Excellent. Hardly any wear. Um, I think this was about 1987, yeah. Um, it was the EMI Manhattan da, 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 Division of Capital Records. 
Yeah, Manhattan Records, 1987. So again, this is in nice condition. The the record is lovely. It plays well. So that's the three records. Um, so we'll now go on to just briefly going through the CDs. <coughs> Starting off with one that I thought Metal Mickey might be interested in this, perhaps. <laughs> given that he's a, a fan of all these girl groups. Uh, the Ultimate Chick Flick soundtrack. <laughs> uh -huh. There is the track listing. Um, you know. That's better. So you've got all that. If you want to pause it just to have a closer look, you can do... Um, not my kind of thing, but the disc itself. It is, a, is it a dual thing? Hang on a minute. Yes, it's a double disc set. There's both of the discs there. This is a half-baked video, this. Um, now, that particular disc is in reasonably half decent condition there is a few light marks on it which you probably can't see on the screen here but <clears throat> um I'll just pop that back there <clears throat> so yeah that one then we've got um the Beatles Number one singles on one CD. That's better. That's the track listing there. Love me do. Jewel case is pretty scratched. The, rec uh, the CD is... Can possibly make out a few. I'm just gonna sit that like that. So yeah, you can sort of just maybe see glinting in the sun some of the scratch marks on it um, there. So yeah, as I say, um, Thirty seconds to Mars, a beautiful lie. I have no idea what this is at all. It's one of these digi packs. Oh, there we go. So if anybody knows, then you're welcome. There looks like there's a DVD as well. I don't know if it's rock or metal or what it is. I haven't a clue. Um, you've got a booklet in there. <clears throat> That'll be the DVD, which is the PAL format. That's the British version. If you're in America, it probably won't play. It's the CD as well. <clears throat> That disc's in very good condition, believe it or not. It's one of the better ones as far as scratches go. The classic Chill Out album. Uh, well, there you go. So, track listing. Two discs. And... CD one. This one again looks, I don't know, very good actually. And probably the second one I would imagine is in good condition too. Uh, Whoa. Well, it's dusty. 
Let's see, it's dusty for a start, but yeah, that looks very good as far as that goes. Hello, Notini. These streets, as you can see, the jewel case is manky. Um, that's that one. CD. Uh, this CD is in shocking condition. It looks like it's been left stored outside on the pavement somewhere, as you can see. All that. Possibly, hopefully, you can see some of that. Sam Smith in the Lonely Hour. No much clue about this chap. I think he's one of the more modern guys. However, I'm pleased to say that if anybody wants Sam Smith, the CD's in very good condition here, this one. Lovely stuff. <coughs> uh, Django Reinhardt, out of nowhere. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Not really sure what type of stuff this is. But there you go, some familiar song titles in there, so I'm guessing it's easy listening type of stuff, I really, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and the jewel case is knackered. Uh, CD's in decent condition though on this one, I'm pleased to say. Oh, yeah, well, we'll sort that one out later, I shall put it to the side. <coughs> Soul Love Songs, Heart Full of Soul, Double CD. Mm -hmm. Midnight Train to Georgia, Gladys Knight. So there's a few songs in there, obviously, that people will know, I guess. Double Disc. And this one... Pleased to say is in reasonably decent condition, just a couple of light surface marks, nothing horrendous. So this should play alright. Uh, same with that one, it's in fairly decent condition I'm pleased to say. Uh, Dion Morick, The Love Songs. So there we are. Heartbreaker, I like that song, it's a good song I must admit, but I'm not too familiar with all of her stuff, so... On the Arista label, and I'm afraid to say this CD does have some scratches. Um, as you can perhaps see, hopefully. It may play fine, I just don't really know, but it is quite badly scratched. The Best of Sting, Fields of Gold, 84 to 94. Yep, oh, another knackered, yeah. It's a bit scratched, but that one's, it's not too bad, that one should be fine as far as playability goes, but there is a couple of light scratches. Very best of the Eagles, digitally remastered. I we'll have a few of these familiar songs, I'm sure. Uh, made in Germany. Again, the jewel case is rubbish. I do apologise for that. Well, 
on behalf of the previous owners. Um, this one, it's reasonable. There is again some light surface scratch marks, but it's one of the better ones as far as that goes, so it should play all right. Maxi Priest, the best of me. Um, again, the jewel case is minging. I know the song Wild World. Um, I don't know if you had another one. Um, that was a big hit in the something like 1988, I think. Wild World. But that's about it. I'm not familiar with the rest of his stuff. Kind of uh, reggae, soul kind of type stuff. Um, there is a few light surface scratches, but again, I'm hopeful that the CD here would play. Um, nothing horrendous. I've got a little the teeth here on the jewel case are broken, but the disc seems to hold so. Uh, Luther Van Dross, give me the reason. There's the track listing. 1986. I'm guessing this is an original press. Kind of look, yeah, it definitely looks like it. So 1986 original press, and. Again, there's a few light scuffs and scratches, sort of, showing up. I'd like to think it would play... Now, uh, <coughs> Stereophonics. And what the heck is this? Uh, just enough... Education to perform. There you go. Just enough education to perform. Um, so I've heard of the stereophonics, but again, they were a group I never got into. They were kind of the new scene of music and not really my thing. So, um, however, if you want that, you can have it. The disc is in quite good condition. There's a couple of light scuff marks on it, but nothing else really. It's very good. Just the jewel case is a bit dirty, and the jewel cases are badly scratched as well. There's no decent jewel cases here at all, but they're easy enough to replace. <coughs> More stereophonics, performance, and cocktails. There's the track listing. 1999, apparently. Interesting CD. Quite plain. And this one, well, looks... I don't know if that's dirt, to be honest. It looks like it might have been wiped. As far as scratches go, there doesn't look like a lot, but there's some kind of film across it. So, as I say, I don't know if it'll play or not. Should do. <clears throat> uh, Coldplay. The new album, whatever, includes that and that. This is 2011, by the looks of things. Again, Coldplay, another band I'm not really into. They're too miserable sounding for me. As where a lot of these bands. Pretty cool CD though. Um, the teeth is broken here, so the disc won't hold, unfortunately, in that. And the CD is okay. There is, again, some very light, very light surface scratches, but I think it should play fine. Uh, Justin Timberlake. 
This is a two disc set, it's a deluxe edition and it's in a... As you can see it's very marked, it's like somebody's taken a key or a penny over it and it's a silver effect. In fact it looks like it's been chewed by a dog there even. So I don't know. Um, it's a bit of a shame actually but uh, the back side's a bit better and there is the track listing if you can make it out. I'm trying to get it so that there's not much of a glare. Yeah. Kind of looks like a German pressing, and I think, I don't know, uh, new remixes, etc. 60 minute bonus DVD, so again, inside it's a wee bit kind of crappy. Um, and it's it's one of these card sleeves, the, there's one disc in here. The disc itself is in lovely condition, so um, there's hardly any surface scratches on that, so the disc will play fine. The DVD... Um, again, this will be PAL European, I would imagine, so if you're abroad, forget it, unless you've got a special system. Uh, in other words, if you're in the States or something, or Canada or whatever. Um, this looks pretty decent as well, just a bit dirty. And there is a little booklet in there, which looks kind of mangled. Which, <laughs> well, it just looks a wee bit crushed, so um, oh, there's uh, more. I don't know if that's the same track listing as what's on the back. In fact, it is. It's, it is the back. I've just put it the wrong way round. Right, moving on. The Cardigans Love Fool. This looks like a CD single. Limited edition CD includes live version of Sick and Tired, Carnival and Rise and Shine. Um, it's just a card sleeve. Oh, and it's got an inner sleeve actually. Very good. Yeah, but it is a single so that's it there. Um, there is a bit of surface scratching on it, sort of there. It's not too bad compared to some of the others. Now I've heard this guy's name, but I don't really know much about him. C6 Steve. There you go. It's a Digipack style case. And there is the track listing. 2008. So I'm not really sure what this guy's like. Um, sorry, can't really. Um, there is a little bit of scratches. Um, if I can try to pick them up. There is a little bit, but it's hard to hard to pick this one up, unfortunately. Um, but again, not too bad. It's pretty decent overall. <coughs> the best of everything but the girl is what that is. So um, I don't want to talk about it. It was a big 80s hit by them that you may all be familiar with. And here is the full track listing. Uh, and the disc is in reasonably decent condition. There is some, again, surface marks, but it's overall not bad. <laughs> Let's move. A heavy blues collection. This is Mojo. This could be something that's come with Mojo magazine. It kind of looks a bit like the style of a Led Zeppelin album cover, actually. Um, yeah, so this has obviously come from Mojo magazine. Yeah, given away free, not to be sold separately. Well, it's not getting sold. If anybody wants it, they can have it. Um, the disc 
this disc is lovely. It doesn't look like it's been played at all. Uh, Manic Street Preachers, the greatest hits. Forever delayed. The jewel case is a bit manky. Um, I don't know, Cloudy, if this is one you have. Possibly you do have it. But if not, you may be interested. Motorcycle Emptiness will be one of their big famous songs. Uh, and the disc. Mm -hmm. um, let me just see. There is a bit of surface scratching on here as well. You can sort of see some of it. I'm hoping. There as well. So, you know, it should play, but as I say, it's not in fab condition. <coughs> Excuse me. The brand new heavies. Shelter. Uh, 1997. And this disc. This disc's in pretty good condition. It's not too bad at all, so that should be fine. <coughs> now. This is 26 minutes, so I think I'm going to stop it and make it in parts, so I'll catch you in part two.